Tell us what you saw. Uh, as I walked up, I, I just saw lots of rubble, and then uh, I saw this one cart, and it was completely just like destroyed, and they were pulling, you know, people out of out of the uh, cart. And then you know they, they had broken broken body limbs, and and they were all bloody. And we were told by a a, a spokesperson for uh, Metro North uh, that it happened at around 6:10 p.m. Uh, that's uh, less than an hour or so ago. Uh, it was an eastbound train collided with a westbound train. No reports of life-threatening injuries. There are some reports of non-life-threatening injuries. The New Haven line is suspended, we're told right now, in both directions between Stanford and New Haven. Now, how close to the, to the uh, wreckage are you right now, Brian? Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just like a, a three-minute walk away. Stand by for a moment, Brian, because we got uh, uh, Chris Martin is joining us on the phone. Chris, you were on one of those trains that collided, is that right? Uh, yes, that's right. I was on New York on train. So you were go uh, heading towards New York. What happened? Well, uh, just out of nowhere, there was a, a sort of jolt and uh, a very abrupt halt. I think we were just leaving the Bridgeport station heading towards the Fairfield Metro station. And uh, as far as we can tell, there was uh, the New Haven bound train. I think somehow derailed, and uh, we collided, and then we derailed as well. I was in one of the middle cars. So what, so what, what, was, the, what the, was the impact on you? Uh, well, for us, we were just kind of in the dark for a couple minutes as they gathered what was going on, and they called all the doctors up to the front. That's when we knew that there was probably some collision. And then police and fire department here in um, Bridgeport evacuated all of us. And so you're, so we're a, a, you're we're okay, a, right? Yes, I'm okay, and I'll... For, certainly plenty of people in this parking lot that are okay. You know, some people are shaken up, but uh, there are also ambulances dealing with the people who are not okay, but we have no, we have no idea what really happened. We don't know a lot of information because we're kind of waiting here indefinitely as they sort out the safety of everyone. Did you get a sense from uh, what you saw that how many people may have been injured in this crash? Uh, I don't know. I can see like eight or nine ambulances and um, I've maybe seen four or five people who were on stretchers, I don't know. Uh, you know, they could be taking precautions. It's it's really unclear because we're just in a parking lot right now, waiting it out. How busy? How crowded was the train? This is rush hour on a Friday. It must have must have had a lot of people on that train, I assume. Uh, yes, it, it was a pretty full train. I imagine um, the one going up towards New Haven, leaving New York, was probably fuller, but ours was pretty full.